Universal Analytics from Google and Google Analytics 4 have differences in their conversion count pretty regularly. So in this video, we're going to talk about why that is and some of the top reasons why that happens. Let's go ahead and dive into it. First, it's important to note that GA4 measures web data differently than Universal Analytics. So some of this is totally unavoidable. Let's go over the three main sources of data discrepancy. First, there's inherent differences between Universal Analytics and Google Analytics 4. GA4 properties have different data models than UA properties. For example, Google Analytics 4 collects events while Universal Analytics collects hits. Additionally, to support the new privacy preserving technologies, Google Analytics 4 is built with AI-powered solutions, such as behavioral and conversion modeling. These solutions give you a complete view of the performance, but they don't compromise privacy. However, they're just not available with Universal Analytics. Also, I should note, everything I'm going over today comes directly from Google documentation. Now, the second item that's one of the main sources of discrepancy is the differences in setup. There's differences in site coverage for Universal Analytics tags. There's also different data firing conditions and e-commerce schema. Item number three, there's differences in settings. Just in general, the main settings between Google Ads, Universal Analytics, and Google Analytics 4 have different defaults. Some of these examples include conversion counts, filters, URL parameter exclusions, and more. Let's dive a little deeper into the most common reasons that there are conversion count issues for events between Universal Analytics and Google Analytics 4. Conversion counting. UA counts one goal conversion per session, while GA4 often counts one conversion per event. For example, when a user completes a goal five times in a single session, Universal Analytics is going to show one conversion, and GA4 is usually going to show five. Now, the way to fix this is to set up a once per session counting system. Here's a quick note on that, though. The GA4 system is going to recognize that this isn't a recommended setting as it can lead to the undercounting of conversions. For example, if you're a lead generation business, you want to count every lead submission, not just one per user. The next item is site coverage. This happens when you've got a tag for Universal Analytics, but you don't have a tag for Google Analytics 4 on your website when a page is firing, or vice versa. That's why it's so important to use something like Google Tag Manager to deploy your tags to make sure that you got apples to apples when you're measuring pages. The next item is implementation errors. When setting up data collection for Google Analytics 4, it's possible a tag is implemented incorrectly. This can result in seeing no data at all in your GA4 property, but in some instances, you'll see partial data in your GA4 property. To fix this, make sure you're following the standard implementation in the developer guide. Let's talk about filters. Universal Analytics filters work very differently from Google Analytics 4 filters. It's common for Universal Analytics filters to be in a place and significantly alter the data inside a UA property. For example, only show data from France. GA4 has a very different set of possible filters. So because these filters are different in Universal Analytics and you don't have them applied to Google Analytics 4, your data is going to be a lot different. You want to create included and excluded filters for internal and developer traffic. You want to modify event names and parameters. You want to include only the referrals you want, and you also want to create sub-properties if you're in 360. These are going to be the best things you can do to fix these discrepancies between the two. Finally, referral exclusions. Exclusions set in Universal Analytics can affect conversions attributed to Google Ads. If these exclusions are not set up according to Google Analytics 4, the credit attributed to Google Ads can really differ. So to fix this, you want to match referral exclusion settings between Universal Analytics and Google Analytics 4. This is going to minimize incorrect attribution. Now keep in mind, this doesn't affect your overall conversions. It just affects how the conversions are being attributed inside the report. At the end of the day, Universal Analytics and Google Analytics 4 have a lot of differences, and that's going to be a major challenge for businesses. My advice is start using Google Analytics 4 now, get really good at it, Think of it as a new environment, a new analytics system that we all have to learn and really dive into it. If you can do that and kind of let universal analytics fall away and fade into the night, we're going to be a lot happier in the future as we lean into a whole new system and start establishing a new baseline. If you have a question or comment, leave it below. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.